Uh, at this moment, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are uh, breaking this story which is coming in and uh, once again for the last 48 hours, one after another, uh, incident of uh, hoax calls uh, security hazard as far as sec uh, airlines are concerned. Now, the latest victim of this uh, uh, threat, which ha of course every threat has to be taken very, very uh, seriously, is the AXA Airlines uh, QP1335, which has declared emergency landing. The flight was uh, for Delhi to Bengaluru. The flight is now returning, uh, in fact, uh, and uh, this took off from Delhi. Uh, now, what we know is that uh, there was a bomb threat that has been received through a Twitter handle. Uh, on X, somebody had posted a threat on this flight, and this flight is uh, uh, now has landed safely back in the national capital. Let me go across to my colleague Vishnu Shom. Vishnu. Uh, you know, since the last 48 hours, we've been tracking one after another while the parliamentary panel meets on this. This is a serious menace. Well, for starters, Ankit, I think it's important that this particular flight is cleared of the security threat. It's just landed moments back at Indira Gandhi International Airport. Uh, one uh, presumes that this is yet another hoax call, but the aircraft has to be sanitized. The passengers need to get off the aircraft. That is something that should be happening now. A statement issued uh, by Akasa Airlines says, and I quote, Akasa Air Flight QP1335 flying from Delhi to Bengaluru on the 16th of October and carrying 174 passengers, three infants, and seven crew members on board received a security alert. The Akasa Air Emergency Response Teams monitored the situation, advised the pilot to divert the flight to Indira the International Airport in Delhi with abundant caution. That flight, uh, I can now tell you, has, uh, has now landed. Uh, and, uh, you know, just tracking the movement of that flight I think it was taken into the isolation bay at Indira Gandhi International Airport, which is um, the standard operating procedure. Akasa Air has got its teams on the ground to prepare passengers and to ensure their safety. So uh, this is, uh, you know, a serious threat. It's a bomb threat. It is the 11th in, uh, incident uh, which has taken place in the last 48 hours, or not even that, less than 48 hours. However, this aircraft has to be security cleared first. Let us hope that it was another bomb, uh, it was another hoax call, uh, but as I understand it, this the hoax call was made both, or, or message was made uh, either to, both to Nagpur Airport uh, and to Akasa itself. The flight wasn't bound for Nagpur, but apparently a message was received over there. Now, in the last 48-odd hours, there have been unverified social media handles where a large number of these uh, messages have been coming on. These have been assessed to be, uh, you know, valid threats in a sense. They have fortunately turned out to be hoax calls, but the airlines, the government, the Bureau of Civil Aviation Security, the Director General of Civil Aviation, everybody is taking all of this seriously, and that is what they have to do. There is, frankly, very little choice at this stage. It is only affecting uh, Indian airlines or airlines in India, uh, and, uh, you know, it is an absolute crisis now in civil aviation. Uh, the fact that you've got... Um, by now, upwards of, uh, you know, I mean, uh, well over a thousand passengers on different flights having been impacted as this. Uh, it is a scary, uh, uh, you know, situation for pilots, not to mention the huge financial problems which airlines uh, need to uh, sort of face at this stage. Vishnu, uh, you know, uh, for the benefit of our viewers, just give our viewers a sense, uh, you know, what happens when, uh, like you said, every, they are though hoax, uh, many, most of them are turning out to be hoax calls, thankfully, but... Uh, uh, it goes through a lot of procedures. What happens when somebody makes a, uh, this kind of a, a, you know, uh, a threat on a flight? What are the procedures? What do the passengers go through if, uh, when this happens? So there is a procedure, and it is a pretty long procedure, but at the end of the day, the pilot can overrule the, the, the procedure or the system in place to assess if a bomb threat is valid or not. Um, if there is a message to the pilot that, look, we have assessed this to be a credible threat, then the pilot does land uh, on this particular occasion. We were told that this, this aircraft landed on an emergency landing. Usually these are priority landings, not an emergency landing. So an additional sense of urgency in this case. But whenever a threat is received, there is a bomb threat assessment committee, which comprises of a whole range of officials um, <clears throat> who look at the nature of the bomb threat, uh, they try and see whether it is a specific threat or a non-specific threat. And if there is a specific threat, then they deem it to be actionable. They get onto um, you know, instant communications with the pilot of the aircraft is flying, and they ask that pilot to return 
or to land at the nearest a- a- airport. So that's one process. However, if it takes place on, for example, an aircraft, if there is another message which the pilot receives, then the pilot is fully within their rights to immediately take a decision uh, on whether to land or not. And the pilot's authority in this case comes first. So that is the procedure itself. You know, Ankit, yesterday you asked me a very important question on what are the legal provisions uh, which are available um, to airlines. Now, there are very strict uh, laws which exist, which are in place, and offences of committing violence on board an aircraft uh, can result in very serious jail time. In fact, it can be punished with imprisonment for life uh, and also liable to a fine. This can actually take place as per the laws which exist in the country. So just the threat itself is something which uh, can uh, result in a lifetime in jail. So this is, uh, and what is the act itself? It's called the Suppression of Unlawful Acts Against Safety of Civil Aviation Act 1982. It has been rarely invoked, uh, but, you know, a person can be put away for life in jail if they are caught in a hoax call situation. Thank you so much, Vishnu, for uh, joining us at this moment with all those uh, details, important details coming in there. Rakasa Airline uh, flight, which has landed back in the national capital after uh, there was a threat, a bomb threat made as far as this flight is concerned on social media platform X. Now, just uh, staying with this story, because this tells you, ladies and gentlemen, the kind of uh, menace that uh, has the Indian aviation sector is facing in the last 48 hours only more than six calls. If I include this one, apparently seven, in fact, uh, aircrafts of various different uh, airlines which have, even international flights which have received such uh, hoax calls. And this has become a huge menace. Not only does it, uh, as Vishnu was telling us, you know, uh, put a huge financial burden on the airlines, inconvenience the passengers. And uh, then, of course, a lot of other provisions are to be taken care. Now, on this uh, matter itself, now there is a Rajya Sabha parliamentary panel which is meeting on the hoax call threat to the airlines. Uh, some steps taken on the hoax call. The government says that some of the culprits are behind uh, 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 the hoax calls have been identified and government provides information on hoax calls to all MPs and... The government has also said, we are serious about this threat. Every possible step is being taken to prevent such menace. Some steps have already been taken and multiple threats, remember, in the last 48 hours have been received by various Indian uh, airline carriers. Uh, let me very quickly go across to my colleague, uh, Ashwarya, who is joining us with more details uh, on this story. Ashwarya, now, you know, while we are talking about the parliamentary panel, we are also parallelly uh, witnessing the kind of menace and the problems that it is causing to the Indian aviation sector, Akasa airline flight being diverted back to the national capital. And it is not the only one. In the last 48 hours, more than six such flights uh, had, to be, had to come back or land somewhere. Now, what are the penal provisions and what is this panel going to do? Can there be some more stringent measures that can be employed? Well, Ankit, Civil Aviation Ministry has jumped into action since morning and uh, to put into context, it was 9.30 a.m. when the Civil Aviation Minister Ram Mohan Naidu uh, called the Civil Aviation officials and the DGCA officials uh, to uh, brief him about what's going to be the reply inside the parliament because it's a scheduled meeting of the Rajya Sabha Standing Parliamentary Committee on Transport, uh, uh, Tourism and Culture uh, in which the opposition MPs are bound to ask this question that what uh, is this steps that the uh, civil ministry aviation uh, uh, civil aviation ministry is taking forward to stop these threat calls that are being received simultaneously uh, in in different uh, uh, zones of the country in, to different airline uh, uh, carriers uh, now uh, it was a detailed reply that was given the meeting has just ended at the uh, parliament complex and uh, the government has ensured that there are few culprits who had been identified who are making these threat calls the government is also continuously monitoring the uh, dark web as well. There has been IC4 unit of the MHA which has also been roped in to identify from where uh, these threat calls are being received and also uh, you know the MPs had been uh, told that uh, uh, there has been set procedure that is being duly followed. The passenger safety is paramount uh, and therefore the reason Civil Aviation Ministry is doing everything possible to stop these threat calls as well. Uh, on the other side uh, uh, there had been different airline uh, careers, including Air India, 
Indigo uh, Akasa, uh, which had been called by the uh, Civil Aviation Ministry to give a deep presentation as far as what uh, internal investigation they are doing and what sort of arrangements that they had in place you know, when uh, such uh, things are happening with them and the calls are being received to them. Uh, today at 10.30, there was Air India, which gave a detailed presentation to the Civil Aviation Ministry. Post that is was Indigo and the other airlines has also been called. Uh, now, uh, on the other side, it has been also informed to us that uh, uh, this Parliamentary Standing Committee, uh, uh, you know, on uh, the uh, uh, where the uh, Secretary of the Civil Aviation Ministry was giving presentation, he had been briefed about it. And uh, today in the evening as well, the uh, 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 the Minister for Civil Aviation will be taking a brief meeting uh, and will be discussing on it because today as well, what we are getting to know is, uh, of course, uh, uh, the Akasa Airlines have received a fresh threat call.